Alright guys, this is pretty uh, exciting stuff here, at least for me. I'll let you guys decide. What we have here is a uh, Chevy Ecotec 2.5 liter out of a uh, 2015 Chevy Malibu. And it's made it up to a uh, Subaru 5 speed, the 5MT. Uh, I believe it's out of a 2003 Legacy. Is uh, the, the gearing that I liked. Um, the adapter plate uh, and everything there you can see. Clutches in there. You need a snub nose starter for clearance issues here. Got my the push type slave cylinder on there. Looks like it'll fit good. There's no plenty of clearance around there. The only thing uh, up in here, the banjo bolt should clear that, but if not, I'll just do a little clearance in there. Take a carbide end mill and clean it out a little. Now I got my block off plates here. There's a, a water tube that goes from the water pump here up into here. Block that off. You don't need that. Messing around with uh, some possible header configurations since nobody makes any yet. Uh, I'm not, not really too enthused about that one, but just trying out ideas with these uh, snap together connectors. They work pretty good. I printed out a ton of them. I got more printing as we speak. Different radiuses, straight pieces. Ready to print it out the, uh, the header plate. Snap them together in different configurations with this little pieces here. And that little piece there for the uh, coolant outlet. Uh, and then back here, there was one little thin spot on the adapter right in this location. So I got some silicone RTV in there. Uh, over, over by the starter, there's another spot too. I'll show you that. And that's my block off plate. I made that piece. Just made up a. Gotta get it. Made up a template. Just. I found out what the uh, diameters were. Of, there's three different circles in there. Tape. Put them in there. Taped it together, and there's your template. Uh, still got to do some work here on the the belt routing. I got to put a little oiler down here. I'll put, probably just put a plate here between these two bolts. Put the idler somewhere like right in there so then the belt will come down and we'll hit this tensioner. I think I might make another thermostat housing at some point. I might get it running first and just make this either come straight out or make it 90. Working on the uh, motor mounts there, 3D printed out some of them. Works out good. Different possibilities over here. Got some more too. There's the possibilities over here. I don't really like this here too much. It's too high. This down here might work out pretty good. Just the bolts are just sitting in there. They'll be down flush. And then just have that coming down to the frame. Yeah, so we'll get it together here a little more and uh, get it in the buggy. Got to clear all this junk out first so I can even get over there. But uh, let me know what you think.